All right, gonna do another video going through some more of what I think are the best and also my personal favorite cartoons of Islam's false prophet Muhammad. This will be part seven in my video series doing this cartoon review, you could say. Uh, and by the way, too, like I said, the scriptural justification for me doing this is 1 Kings 18, verse uh, 20, 25 down to verse 27, where Elijah mocks the prophets of Baal, which is exactly what Muhammad was. And also, uh, I want to point this out, too, this is not an endorsement necessarily of the artists of these cartoons, just the cartoons itself is what I'm talking about. So just keep that in mind. So here is the first cartoon. It says, Muhammad the Transformer, you know very creative and I, I'd argue too it, it is actually very accurate in the sense of that if you don't know the Transformers franchise it's basically this like this toy franchise and the main villain is is this uh this they're called Decepticons and the main villain is Megatron and basically he's like this ruthless you know leader which is exactly what Muhammad was Muhammad was essentially a real life Megatron so this is a very accurate uh, very accurate display of the type of individual Muhammad was here's the next cartoon says uh, this again is Muhammad with his little you know with for example one of his wives because he was a full-on polygamist you know fornicating polygamist here's Muhammad essentially abandoning one of his wives which is also something he did uh in favor of a little nine-year-old girl because the guy was just a fornicating polygamist you know pedo when you get down to it he's a pedophile that's just a fact of the matter and Islamic scholars the only people who seem to actually deny this are non-Muslim you know uh, SJW liberals who just get offended when you criticize Islam, but Muslim scholars themselves will openly say that. And then he's, you know, abandoning his, his because again, the guy was a total fornicator, abandoning his, I don't know, whatever, however many, however, however, you know, whatever number on the list she was of wives he had in favor of a nine year old girl to satisfy his perverted lusts. And if you think I'm being too harsh, um, keep in mind the guy's a pedophile. Why am I not going to be harsh against? Something like that. False prophet, you know, uh, all kinds of stuff. You know, devil worshiper, possessed by devils, under satanic influence, clearly. So, yeah, I have no respect for something like that, or somebody like that. Nor do I have respect for his cult that he started. Here's the next cartoon. Again, you got Muhammad saying peace out with his... It essentially, it's like a YouTube outro where you're like, peace out, and then you do something cool. Well, in his case, peace out, and then he's going to blow himself up. So if, instead of having the explosion on the green on like a green screen on your YouTube video, uh, he's literally going to blow himself up and then you know peace out. Only thing about that is that Isaiah 48 and uh, talks about how there's no peace for the wicked. Yeah, unfortunately, Muhammad may have peaced out, but he's not in peace now. So very accurate depiction there. Here's the final cartoon, more of kind of a meme slash cartoon where it's talking about how essentially if Muhammad was to start his religion in like pretty much within the past 200 years, uh, it would not have been, you know, it would not have 1 billion followers. Probably wouldn't even get, probably wouldn't even like, you know, expand beyond his little town. It would have been regarded as some kind of new religious cult that he starts over in Arabia. Because again, the guy was a, a, a flaming pedophile, you know, a pervert. And what he did, see, he may have gotten away with it in like seventh century Arabia, but if he tried something like that, he may have got still gotten away with it in the Middle East today. but. If they try pushing that over in Europe, you know, like they kind of are flooding the, the migrants are flooding them now, it would not have gone down well. I would just put it that way. They would not have been as successful and very accurate when it talks about I'm Chris Henson, because that's pretty much who Muhammad would have been confronted by. So just want to show those the cartoon slash that you know slash meme as well, you know, cartoon slash meme, uh, depicting this false idolatrous moon worshipping, you know, Allah's a moon god, moon worshipping, uh, perverted, polygamous, fornicating pedophile, false prophet Muhammad. Who was just again he was just modern day Baal worship that's all the thing was and some may not like this some may think this is offensive but again you know uh, Elijah mocked the prophets of Baal we're not supposed to respect false prophets and false religions and Muhammad was certainly on in the category of a prophet of Baal just by a different name so I want to point that out Genesis for, uh, 16 verse 11 to 12 tells us everything we need to know about uh basically about Muhammad and his Ishmaelite spirituality of Islam. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.